Hello, so here we are already at Wednesday. This week is already flying by. So yesterday we started our topic of area. Hopefully you remember what area is. Today we're going to carry on with area, but we're going to step forward a little bit more. I'm going to do area and perimeter. Okay, so that's our what for today. Come on then, rewind back to yesterday. What is area? Area is... The space inside a 2B shape. And that is our stem sentence. Keep repeating it. You can even write it down into your maths, uh, doctor or maths book if you've got it with you. Just keep repeating that stem sentence so that you don't forget it. Okay? Right then. What is the area of this square? Pause the video and have a go. Okay. If this is a square, that tells me that all the sides are the same. Oops, oops, not the same length. Not the five centimeters, just five centimeters. But they are the, the same length. So then I need to times the width by the length. So five times five is 25. Centimeters times centimeters would be centimeters squared. So it would be 25 centimeters squared. Next one then, what is the area of this rectangle? Well, we times the width by the length. So three times eight or eight times three is 24 centimeters squared. Well done. Okay then, so now we are playing. We've done the rewind, we are now play. So the play for today is what is perimeter then? Because today we are looking at area and perimeter. So what's perimeter? Hopefully. You can tell me the perimeter is the length of the outside of a 2D shape. So this is, if you were stood on a football pitch, basketball pitch, tennis court, whatever it was, and you walked all the way around the outside of it, and you kind of followed the markings all the way around the outside, that is the perimeter. So the area is space inside that shape, that's the pitch or the court itself, where you can run around if you're playing the game. But the perimeter is the outside bit, okay? Like the markings that mark the, the outline, if you like, of that shape. So what is perimeter? It is the length of the outside of a 2D shape. And again, like I said before, if you can write this down, okay? These are stem sentences that you are going to need. Write them. These are the same shapes that we looked at yesterday. Yesterday, we looked at area. Today, perimeter. Have a go. Okay, so for perimeter, you need to add up the lengths all the way around the outside. So we did actually do this one yesterday, remember? So this is five centimeters, and then we add two centimeters, which would be five, add two is seven. Add five, 12 centimeters, add two, 14 centimeters. So this perimeter, so I'm gonna put P, the perimeter equals 14. Now, what is my units or what are my units, I should say? Well, it would just be centimeters because we're not times it. We've not got more than one dimension. The only dimension we've got is just the length. It changes direction the way the length is going. What you could do is you could break all of these corners and you could just put the length into one big straight line and that would then be the perimeter of it. There's no, um, there's no dimension, there's no other dimension. As we're looking at area, we've got length and width here. We're just looking at the length, okay? So it's just centimeters. Right, let's have a look at this one over here then. So this one is a square. What do we know about squares? We know that they all have the same length. So if that side is three centimeters, this side is three centimeters, this side, is three centimeters long. And this side is three centimeters long. So for perimeter, we do three, add three, add three, add three. Quicker way, evaluator, is there a better method? We could just do three times four, which is 12. So the perimeter would be 12 centimeters, just centimeters because it's only one dimension, okay? The other thing, or the way, sorry, that you could work these out, you can just add around the side but while we're talking about evaluating methods let's talk about evaluating the first method that I did and change color so you can see it there. what I did here was I did five add two add five add 
Let's evaluate it. Was there an easier way to work this out? So what you could do is you could do five, five add five first and then two add two. You could do five add two and then times it by two. Okay, there's lots of different ways you could have done this. Now, this is the way that you might see written down quite a lot today as we go through the lesson. This is the way I personally would do it. I would do five add five or five. So it's really hard to write. <laughs> five times two because you've got two lots of five. You've got five add five or five times two. And I'm going to put these in little brackets because we always do the brackets first. Don't maybe know that. Then you can add to this two add two because you've got a length of two and another length of two because they're the same because it's a rectangle and opposite uh, lengths are the same. And then I'm here I could add two times two and these would all get us the same answer. Okay, with perimeter, it's really the way that you want to do it. So five add two add five add two is not really the most efficient method to work this out. Okay, the, more, the more efficient methods are to think about the fact you've got two lots of five, two lots of two, and then add those two numbers together. Okay, that doesn't make sense, don't worry, it will as we keep going through. And if you want to just add it all up, that's fine. You get exactly the same answer, okay? It's just about efficiency of your method. Okay, then here is our, think uh, not think so. here's our discover for today then. So we've got Lexi and Max, and they are making a shape using one of those like pin boards. So first things first, what's the shape? <laughs> shame, not the shame, same. What is the same about shapes? There we go, that Max and Lexi have drawn. And what is different? Think about, I don't want you to say, well, one's red and one's green. No, no, no. Let's think mathematically different. Think area, think perimeter, think of what the point of the lesson is. So what's the same about the shapes and what is different? And then if Max drew another rectangle on his grid, it has the same area, but a different perimeter. What could the dimensions of that shape be? So you've got two parts, uh, one A and one B. Right, I will put this screen on so it's a little bit easier for you to see. So here's uh, Lexi's, um, I think it's actually a square, and here is Max's rectangle. So can you work out what's the same and what's different? Pause the video and have a go. Okay, then hopefully you've paused it and you've had a go. So let's look at Lexi's first of all then, and I'm going to work out area first. So I'm going to do A, area, equals. So to work out area, I need the length and the width. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And it did say that the scale was centimetres. So I know this is six centimetres. Then let's look at this length. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, also six centimetres. It was a square. So my area then, I do length time width times width, six times six is 36. What's my units? Centimeters squared, because there are two dimensions, you've got centimeters times centimeters. Right, let's change color. So this time I want P for perimeter. So I could do six, add six, add six, add six, but that's not very efficient. So let's do six times four, and six times four is 24, what's my units? Just centimetres, because there's only one dimension, it's just length, it's just centimetres. Right, let's go back to the other colour pen then. Let's have a look at this one over here. So we've got a width of one, two, three, four centimetres, and we've got a length of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine centimetres. Right. What would my area be then? A for area. So we multiply to work our area. Four times nine is 36 centimetres squared. Very difficult to do an M. There we go. Let's change colour pen. Blue. So then we need the perimeter. So we could do four times, not times, not times, perimeter. We add. So four, add nine. Ooh, what would this one be? Well, this one would also be four, wouldn't it? Because think about the way a rectangle is, the opposite lengths are the same. So this side would also be nine. So what we can do is we can do four, add nine, add four, add nine. But let's think, is there a more efficient method to do this? Well, I would do four times two, because there's a length of four and there's a length of four. So four times two is eight. So I'm going to write an eight down. And I'm going to add this 
So these two lengths, I've got nine times two, because I've got two lots of nine, which is 18. So then I need to do eight centimetres at 18 centimetres, which is 26 centimetres. Okay, then let's think about our original question, which was, what is the same and what is different? So hopefully you can tell me that the area of these two shapes is the same, but the perimeter is different. Really well done if you got those right and you didn't just say, well, one's green, because that's not. <laughs> I mean, it is different, but it's not a mathematical difference. Okay, that's that. Uh, so then the second part was trying to say, if you then, then drew a rectangle with the same area, so an area of 36 centimetres squared, but you wanted a different perimeter. So any factors of 36 that we haven't already had would work for this. So you could have had um, 1 and 36, and then work that out. This example here has gone for 12 and 3, because they times together to make 36, but when you add them up, it makes 30 centimetres, which is different from the two perimeters in the previous question. So I suppose the big teaching point from this is just because two shapes have got the same area, it doesn't mean they've got the same perimeter. And likewise, if two shapes have got the same perimeter, it doesn't mean they've got the same area because we work them out very differently. Think together then. So can you have a go at working out the area and perimeter, so make sure you get them the right way around, of each shape and can you work out the missing numbers in this table below? If you're struggling with the perimeter one, don't worry. This is doing it the efficient method. And I would put this bit in brackets and this bit in brackets and this bit in brackets and this bit. Okay, have a go. Pause the video. Okay, then let's have a look at this. So for A, we need to work out the area. So we would do three times eight because they are the length and the width and it's area. We times them together. Three times eight is 24 units, centimetres squared because it's two dimensions. It's centimetres times centimetres, centimetres squared. Perimeter then. So we've got two lots of three. There's a three centimetre and there's a three centimetre. So we do three times two. And then we've got an eight centimetre length and an eight centimetre length. So we do eight times two. So three times two is six. Add eight, add two, which is 16. Ooh, there we go. Which would equal 22 units, centimetres. Okay, so that was A. Again, for the perimeter, you could do three, add A, add three, add A. You would still get the same answer. It's just about which way is the quickest way of doing it. Okay, for B then, we've got a width of one, two, three, four, five, six centimetres. And we've got a length of one, two, three, four centimetres. So we would times these together to get area. So we would do six times ooh, four, which is 24 centimetres squared. And to work out the perimeter, I would do six times two, which is 12, four times two, which is eight, and add them together to get 20 centimetres. Okay, C is a bit different. C is a compound shape, so it's trickier to work this out. Now, easy way of doing this for the area, is you can just count squares. So you could just say, because the squares are there in the shape, so you could say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. There are 24 squares, therefore the area is 24 centimeters squared. Ooh, hopefully you've noticed something there. Other way of doing this is you can cut shape C into two separate rectangles. So this one would be three times two, which would then be six centimeters squared for this little rectangle up here. This rectangle here would be one, two, three, four, five, six times by one, two, three, four, which would, oh no, one time, six times three, not four, which then would be 18 centimeters squared. Add them together, 24 centimeters squared. Okay, you can do it either way. If the squares are there, you can count them or you can cut them up and you can do it as two separate shapes. Perimeter then, 
we just need to go around the outside. So we've got one, two, three centimetres, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. So we've got twenty-two. Ooh, okay, twenty-two centimetres as the perimeter. I'll probably just check that, just to make sure I got that right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 centimetres. Now you don't need to measure that bit in the middle because I drew that bit in, okay? Right, lovely. So hopefully you can see that these have all got the same area. Two of these had the same perimeter, even though they were very different shapes, and B was different altogether. Right, well done. Okay, then these are your think to get, uh, not keep saying things together. These are your independent activities. So here is question A, 1A. You can have a go at that. And part B, what do they have in common? Here is question three. We're not going to do question two today. We're going to go one, three, because why not? And then here is question four. Okay, so I'll pause, so have a go at these ones. So have a go at question three. So pause the video, have a go. And then here is question four. So pause the video and have a go. Right then, answer time for these then. So I'll go through these fairly quickly. Um, and if you're wanting any more help on them, then you can just message me on Dojo or watch the explanations from earlier. Okay? So again, tick these if you've got them right, because this is your independent activity. So the A, the perimeter would be four, add four, add four, add four, or four times four, which is 16 centimetres. And the area would also be 16 centimetres, but centimetres squared. B, the perimeter would be six add six which is 12 three add three which is six so it would be 18 centimeters and the area would be six times three which is 18 centimeters squared c again slightly trickier because it's got the compound shape but if i get my little spotlight again here it is i can count the perimeter so it would be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two centimeters i think i counted that right and then the area would be one two and then here i can see this is one two three or five five times four which is twenty add to twenty two centimeters squared right what do you notice then because part b was what do these shapes all have in common? So they didn't have the same area as each other. They didn't have the same perimeter as each other. What they did have was A had the same answer for perimeter and area. B had the same answer for perimeter and area. C had the same answer for perimeter and area, apart from the units, of course. Okay, So that was what they had in common. So sometimes shapes can have the same perimeter and same area, and sometimes they don't. Next one, number three. Calculate the areas and perimeters below and which ones have equal areas. Okay then. For question one then. Not one, sorry. Question three then. We've missed, we skipped two. We don't want two. We're just going to go straight through. We have got the area for A, you can just count squares, would be six centimetres squared and the perimeter would be 14 centimetres. For B, again, the area would be six centimetres squared and the perimeter would be 14 centimetres. So those two actually have the same areas and perimeters. And then for C, you would have a perimeter of 12 centimetres and an area of five centimetres squared. D looks a little bit trickier, but you really can work this out quite easily. So first of all, two centimetres times one centimetre, the area of this little rectangle would be two centimeters squared and the area of this rectangle would be three centimeters squared Oop. pretty hard to write small so the area of d would also be five centimeters squared exactly the same as c right when it comes to doing the perimeter then we know this one is two centimeters we know this is one so that's three centimeters we know this is one so that's four centimeters five centimeters six centimeters eight nine ten centimeters but we've got a line here and a line here that we haven't yet counted so we need a little bit of logical thinking if we know that this is two centimeters 
then we know that this is two centimeters as well. This comes halfway, so that tells me that this bit here is one centimeter. So now we know that we've got 11 centimeters altogether. If that bit's one centimeter, then this bit must be one centimeter. If this whole bit here is three centimeters and this bit's one centimeter, this bit must be two centimeters. Which then tells me, oh wait, I don't think I quite added that up right, did I? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, sorry, my bad. That would be nine centimeters. Add this bit would be 10 centimeters. Add these two would be 12 centimeters. So the perimeter would be 12 centimeters, just the same as C. So A and B matched and C and D matched as well. Next one then. So last little one then. What did we notice about the areas and perimeters of these shapes? Well, they all had the same area. They all had an area of 20 centimeters squared. And then they all had different perimeters. So A had a perimeter of 24 centimeters, B had a perimeter of 18 centimeters, and C had a really long perimeter of 42 centimeters. Okay, well done for today. I hope you got all those right. Take a picture of your work, send it on to portfolio so I can see what you've done. Well done, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.